Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with a uh, first game of the 19 or the 2001 World Series, which was between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. And this is going to be a result, this project is going to be a result of a suggestion that I got from one ID Jester who said I should play each game of the last World Series that the Diamondbacks were in one game at a time, one night at a time, um, lining up after each game of the actual current World Series. Now, as you know, the uh, Diamondbacks lost game one in real life of the uh, current World Series to the Texas Rangers in extra innings. So um, they're down one game to nothing. And in, in 2001, the uh, Diamondbacks went to seven games and beat the New York Yankees in the 2001 World Series. And so we've got game one of that World Series right here for you to replay it. Uh, in real life, I think the Diamondbacks won this particular game something like nine nothing or nine to three or something. It was a big, it was a blowout. Um, but, um, we will be replaying it. Now I will be using the actual lineups to start the game and the actual pitchers to start the, each game of my replay world series, but as the game unfolds, I will make managerial decisions based on just what I think the teams w would do or should do. I am not going to do what um, what actually happened in the game, because there were pinch hitters in this game, uh, but I won't necessarily um, use pinch hitters. Um, so I guess that, that sets the uh, scene for you. Uh, the pitching matchup today for Game 1 of the 2001 World Series replay will be Mike Messina on the mound for the New York Yankees, the visiting New York Yankees, and Kurt Schilling will be on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Uh, the game will be in Bank 1 Ballpark. The weather effects are uh, single 1-14 to for both uh, left and right-handed batters and 1-6 to for home run for both left and right-handed batters. And with all of that having gotten out of the way, let's get on with the game. The first batter will be Chuck Knobloch, the left fielder for the New York Yankees, batting against Kurt Schilling. And he gets a 4-4. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball center field X. The center fielder for <coughs> the um, Diamondbacks is a 1-E-3. And that is a 7. So I'm going to guess that's probably going to be an out. And it is. So there's one down quickly. Knobloch flies out to Finley, who was the center fielder that made that catch. Derek Jeter is the next batter, the captain. Just call me the captain. 6'10". 6'10", uh, righty against Schilling. That is going to be a fly. Or that's actually, that's a, uh, well, it was, a, it was a ballpark single, but it was still an out. So um, it turns out to be a fly out to center. So Finley takes care of that one as well. And that brings up David Justice. And David Justice gets a 110. And that is going to be a ground ball to first base. So the Yankees go quickly in the first inning. They get no runs. And that brings up the Diamondbacks. And, oh, by the way, I did not go over the lineup. So we'll go over the Yankees lineup when they come back up again. But here is the uh, lineup for the uh, Diamondbacks. And, again, this was the actual lineup the Diamondbacks used. They had let off with Tony Womack at shortstop. Second batter is everyone's favorite manager, Craig Council, at second base. The third batter is Luis Gonzalez in left. Reggie Sanders, the cleanup hitter in right field. Um, 
Finley. Steve Finley is the fifth hitter, and he's the center fielder. Matt Williams in the sixth spot playing third base. In the seventh spot, you got Mark Grace, the former Cub, at first base. Damian Miller is the catcher today for the Diamondbacks. And, of course, Kurt Schilling, the pitcher in the ninth spot. This is pitcher bat. And uh, with that having been said, we will get underway with Tony Womack. And he gets a 5'11". He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for the Yankees is a 4'8". And that is a 10. So let's see what that is. That's going to be on his card. So uh, we'll have to roll the uh, air rating. And eight for the outfielder is a fly ball B. So that is an out. Womack flies out to um, the, uh, was that the right fielder? Right fielder, I think. F9. Craig Council is up. Manager of the Brewers, or he was. I don't know if he's going to get fired, but he really deserves to be. <laughs> uh, there, there's a one six, and uh, he is a left-handed batter. Um, let's see, one six against a righty. That is going to be a walk. So Council gets aboard with a walk, and Messina walks him. So let's see what his stealing rating is. He's a stealing D. He's not going anywhere. Luis Gonzalez is up. He gets a 210. And uh, 210 is going to be a ballpark single. And so runners are now at first and second. Council moving down to second on that. Messina giving up a hit. And Reggie Sanders is up. Reggie Sanders gets a 1-2, which is a line-out third base max. So that's a line-out into a double play. And the Diamondbacks are out of the inning. Just that quickly. So Bernie Williams is the batter for the Yankees. Let's go over the Yankees lineup. Knobloch was the leadoff hitter in left field. The second hitter was Derek Jeter, the captain, at shortstop. Number three was David Justice in right field. Bernie Williams in the cleanup spot, and he'll be batting to lead off the second here. Tino Martinez at first base, batting fifth. Jorge Posada, the catcher, batting sixth. Um, Alfonso Soriano, the seventh hitter and, and playing second base. Uh, Scott Brocious will be at, short, er, at third base, batting eighth, and Mike Messina in the ninth spot, and that brings up Bernie Williams here, and also I have to keep moving this uh, counter for what, what inning we're in, and we're in the top of the second. 6-9, uh, he is a, Bernie Williams is a switch hitter, um, so let's see, he would be batting uh, left, and 6-9 is a strikeout. So, Schilling with a strikeout. Tino Martinez up. He gets a 5-3. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. The right fielder for the Diamondbacks is a 3-E-0. That is a 9 so let's see what that gets him. That's going to have to be on his, uh, well, it's on his air rating, but he's a zero, so that's an out. So two out. Fly out to right. And Jorge Pizzada is up. And that's going to be a 2-8. And a 2-8 against a righty is a single. So Posada gets the first hit for the Yankees on the day. Schilling allows his first hit. And 
that brings up um, Alfonso Soriano, and he gets a 4-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. Second strikeout for Schilling, and it gets the um, Diamondbacks out of the inning. We move to the bottom of the second. Steve Finley is up. Uh, 3-8. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. One away. Finley goes 4-3. Also, I want to put out another disclaimer that I'm going to have to probably do from time to time. If there's anything you can't see, you can't see the card, you can't see the dice roll, you can't see this, you can't see that. That's just how it is. I don't have a camera. I don't have a professional camera that I can, you know, or multiple cameras where I can do multiple angles. I don't have anything like that. I've got a camera phone. And so there's only so much I can film and show you guys what's going on. So uh, that brings up Matt Williams. With that out of the way, we've got Matt Williams, and he gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout, two away. That's the first strikeout, I believe, for uh, Moose, and it is. And Mark Grace is the batter, the former Cub. And he gets a 4-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. Yeah, so, um, and that's Messina's second strikeout, one right on the heels of the other. No runs come in for the Diamondbacks right there, and we move to the top of the third with the Yankees batting in the top of the third in a 0-0 game. Scott Brocious is up. He gets a 4-7. And that is a strikeout. One away. Schilling's second strikeout on the day. And that brings up Musina With nobody aboard, he'll have to bat regular. And he strikes out. So, so uh, Schilling is racking up the strikeouts. Two away. And Chuck Knobloch, the leadoff hitter, gets a 5-8. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Fly ball right. And the Yankees go quickly in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Damian, Damian Miller is up. The catcher for the... Diamondbacks, he gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a pop-out to third base. One down quickly. We're still scoreless here. And Schilling is the batter. He gets a 3-8. That's going to be a strikeout. And up steps Tony Womack. Tony Womack getting a 6-7. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Yankees is uh, Soriano, I believe. And he is a 3-E-20. That is a 12. So let's check it out. That is going to be on his air rating at, for a 20, which probably isn't real good. Uh, four is going to be an air one, a one base error. So Womack is aboard. Now Womack, he can steal. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try that. We're going to try have him steal second. He rolls a seven, so he's definitely safe. I don't have to try to figure that one out. So he got on by an E4 and then he moved uh, moved to second on a stolen base. And now Council is up with two down and a man at second trying to knock him in. And he gets a 4-8. Four, 4-8 eight. Four, eight on Messina's card, and that is a strikeout. 
So despite uh, getting Womack aboard and having him steal second, Diamondbacks still don't score anything. We go to the top of the fourth in a scoreless game. This game is a lot better than the actual game. Derek Jeter is up. It's a 3-6, and that is going to be a single. So Jeter is aboard. Move the uh, diamond back back. Move the diamond back back. And Schilling allows his third hit. Um, David Justice is up. He gets a 4-9 left-handed batter. And that is going to be a home run, David Justice. And the Yankees take a 2-0 lead here. Schilling allows a hit. And, uh, two runs, both earned. And Bernie Williams is up. Bernie Williams gets a 5-4. He is a switch hitter. That is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the Diamondbacks is a 2-E-1. That is a 12. And that's going to be on his card. He is an E-1 now. That's a 12. 12 is a ground ball C. So one away. Bernie Williams goes uh, two to three. And Kino Martinez is up. It's a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven is a ground ball to the second baseman. Lots of uh, error and uh, range checks here. Uh, second baseman's a 2-E-4. That is a 4. <clears throat> And that's going to be a ground ball, two away. So Martinez goes out four to three. And with two down, Jorge Posad is up. He gets a four eight. <clears throat> and four eight is going to be a single. Posada ripping a single, and uh, all of a sudden, Schilling is in a little bit of trouble here. He's given up five hits and two runs so far here through four innings. And uh, um, Soriano is the batter. He gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a single to right field. They'll hold up Posada. He's not known for his speed, so he'll just go station to station. Sixth hit allowed by Schilling. Schilling is getting his uh, ass handed to him. Brocious is the batter. He gets a 2-3. And that is going to be a ground ball C. And they are finally out of the inning. But not before the Yankees get two runs on a two-run home run by David Justice. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with the Diamondbacks looking to try to tie this game up at least. Luis Gonzalez gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a walk. Well, the Diamondbacks are all right at getting on base with walks, but they, uh, they're not doing a lot of hitting. That's the second walk Messina's has given up. Reggie Sanders gets a 3-10. That's going to be a... That it's not going to be a home run. <laughs> it's going to be actually a fly ball. One away. It's a long, deep fly ball because of the stadium. So um, Sanders flies out to right. And uh, that brings up uh, that brings up Steve Finley. Yeah. Steve Finley gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. Messina almost allowed the tie game right there, but... Uh, and that brings up Matt Williams. Two down, <coughs> man at first base. <coughs> He's got some power himself. 4-9. Uh, 
and 4.9 is a single. And that is only a one asterisk single, so the runners have to stop the runner has to stop at second. And uh, Messina giving up his second hit. Mark Grace gets a 3-7. That is a single double asterisk, and it knocks in a run. So Messina does get touched here as uh, Williams goes to third, and Gonzalez comes around to score. And the score is 2-1 to one with Damian Miller, the batter. And he gets a 4-7, and that is a strikeout. Messina with his fifth strikeout, but the Diamondbacks do, um, they do uh, strike for a run. And Messina is the batter here, leading off the top of the fifth for the Yankees. They're going to let him hit. I mean, he's, he's pitching well. Uh, 210, that is a walk. So Moose works a walk. Schilling walking the guy. Now, Schilling is the first batter next inning, so they're going to try to see if they can get him at least through this inning. Knoblock is up. He gets a 4-3. And 4-3 uh, is a strikeout. Yeah. Schilling with his fourth K of the game. Derek Jeter gets a 4-6. And that's going to be a strikeout. So now, it, all of a sudden, he's looking a little bit dominant here. Maybe they won't even pinch hit for him, but we'll see. David Justice, who gave the Yankees the lead, he gets a walk. So David Justice is working his way aboard. And Bernie Williams is up with two on and two out. And he gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So the Yankees don't get any runs there, though they do threaten a little bit. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Now, this is a tough decision here. I, the game is 2-1. to one. I think we're going to leave Schilling in. We're going to let Schilling hit for himself against Messina. And that is a 5-7. And 5-7 is going to be a strikeout. So Schilling strikes out for the second time today here in the bottom of the fifth. Messina with his sixth K of the game. This is a it's a very good game. Two to one. Tony Womack is up three nine. That is going to be a ground ball second base. He goes out four to three. There's two down and. Craig Council gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a line out to first base. And the Diamondbacks get no runs there. We go to the top of the sixth in a 2-1 game. The Yankees are leading by a very thin 2-1 margin. Tino Martinez is the batter. He gets a 4-3, and that is going to be a um, strikeout. He strikes out to lead off the sixth. That's Schilling's sixth strikeout. So now Schilling has started to uh, buckle in. Jorge, Jorge Posada gets a 2-6. That is going to be a ground ball to first base. There's two down. And Alfonso Soriano gets a 5-8. And 5-8 is going to be a fly ball to right field. So the Yankees get nothing there. They still hold their slim lead. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's two to one Yankees. Luis Gonzalez is the batter. He gets a one five and that is going to be a home run that ties the game. So there you go. There's the tie game right there that they were waiting for. Messina gives up the hit. 
and the run. And it is a tie game, and Reggie Sanders is up. Reggie Sanders went deep to the right field wall last time up, but he didn't get it over. And uh, this time what he gets is a fly ball to center field, a deep fly ball to center. So Sanders is just missing a home run the last two times. Well, actually, he just missed a triple that time. Steve Finley comes up. He gets a 6-5, and 6-5 is um, going to be a ground ball to short. That is Jeter, and Jeter is a 2-E-17. Uh, that's a 19, and that's going to be a ground ball, so there's two away. He goes 6-3 and brings up Matt Williams. And Matt Williams gets a 6-8. And 6-8 uh, is going to be a line out to third base. But the D-backs tie the game. We got a tie game here. We're going to the top of the seventh. 2-2. Two two. And Brocious is the batter. Scotty Brocious. He gets a 3-9, and that is a strikeout right in the middle of on, a whole bunch of on-base chances. And Schilling striking out the seventh guy of the game for him. That brings up Messina. They're going to pinch hit for Messina right here. Um, and uh, so let's determine who that's going to be. They're going to pinch hit Darren Bragg. He didn't have a... Now, Darren Bragg in 2001 had 61 at-bats. He hit 262, but um, <coughs> he had seven doubles in those 61 at-bats, and that is quite prevalent against a right-handed batter. So let's see what can happen. Nothing can happen. He strikes out. <laughs> So we are going to put the pitcher hitting card back. Darren Bragg is done for the night. Um, let's see. And that is another strikeout for Schilling. By the way, um, I'm just going to do a, a disclaimer here um, that I am using... The entire roster is available to me. I'm not going to go in and research who actually was on the roster that night. So anybody will be available. That's not real life, I know. But hey, that's how it is in my world. And that is a 5-6. Chuck Knobloch with a 5-6 is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he's out 6-3. to three. The game is still tied. We go to the bottom of the 7th. And really, as long as that um, advantage applies to both teams, I'm not worried about it. Mark Grace is the batter. He gets a 1-8. That's going to be... Oh, yeah, we've got to find out who the new pitcher for the Yankees is. And again, I don't know who came in to relieve um, Messina, if anybody did that game. So I'm just going to bring in whoever I'm going to bring in. And we are going to bring in Randy Choate. In 2001, Randy Choate pitched 48 innings, allowed 34 hits, and had a 335 earned run average. And he is a left-handed batter. So that is a 1-8, uh, and that is a ground ball to second. So Grace grounds out. 4-3. There's one down, and Damien is up, and he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a walk. Damien Miller drawing the walk. And so let's mark down that this is Choke, and that he walked a guy. And that brings up Schilling, the Schillmeister, with one down and one on. They will pinch hit for him. And the 
pinch hitter will be Greg Colbrun. You get the 212, which is going to be a line out max, um, I believe. Yes, that is a line out max. So it is a double play and it ends the inning. And no runs come across. We're going to the top of the eighth. And we have to put in the uh, placeholder card again here. Yeah. All right. And Colburn can't pitch or can't play the rest of the game and Schilling is now out of the game so now both starters are out of the game and uh, the new pitcher for Arizona is going to be they're going to bring in Greg Swindell in 2001 Swindell was 2-6 and six with a 4.53 earned run average and he'll be the new pitcher, and he is a lefty. So we went from two righty starters to two lefty relievers. And Derek Jeter will be the leadoff hitter for the Yankees here in the top of the eighth of a tie game at two apiece. And he gets a 1-6, which is going to be a single. So the captain works his way on with a hit. And that is a hit allowed by Swindell. Um, Schilling went seven, and I believe that, uh, let's see, yeah, he went, he only went six, I think. All right, so, uh, David Justice is up now. David Justice, he had two deep fly balls the last two times up and here he gets a 2-9 which is going to be a strikeout wait a minute um yeah it's a strikeout one away and uh swindell with the k one down one on bernie williams up he gets a 6-4 he would be batting right against swindell and that's going to be a fly ball to center. That is the main man, um, Finley, and I'm sure he makes the play. He does. That's two down. And Tino Martinez is the batter. And he gets a 5-6. And that is going to be a fly ball, deep fly ball to right field. So Martinez goes deep to the wall, but he doesn't quite get it over. And we go to the top of the, uh, that, or we go to the bottom of the eighth. The Diamondbacks coming up here in the bottom of the eighth. It's getting late. I mean, it's getting late, but it could be real late for the Yankees since they're not the home team. And if the uh, Diamondbacks score, that could be that. Tony Womack, the leadoff hitter, is the first man to bat. He gets a 4-8. And 4-8 uh, is going to be a... Fly ball right field. Womack flying out to right. One down. And Craig Council up. Craig Council gets a 5-6. That is going to be a strikeout. Swindell with the... Uh, or wait a minute. Choke with the strikeout. That's his first. And that brings up Luis Gonzalez, who tied the game 
with a two-run homer earlier, 5-4. Um, and that's going to be a catcher card X. And uh, that's Jorge Posada. And he is a 3-E-4. That is a 20. And that's going to be an out. So Gonzalez goes three to or two to one. No runs for the D-backs in the ninth. And um, we're going to the, uh, or in the eighth. And so we're going to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth inning. And Jorge Posada is up. And I'm going to have to take this thing marker off, completely off this board. If we don't uh, <clears throat> resolve this in the ninth inning. But Posada is the leadoff hitter. He'll face... Swindell, he gets a 4-3. He would be batting right. That is a fly to right. And the right fielder for the Diamondbacks is a 3-E-0. That is a 14. And uh, that's going to be a fly ball. So he's out. Fly out to right for Posada. Brings up... Um, Soriano. Soriano gets a 4-9. And 4-9 uh, is going to be... Is that, a, is that a home run? That is a home run. Man, Soriano gives the Yankees a lead. Just a home run hanging out there. Swindell gives up a hit and a run. And Brocious is up. And that is a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five is a strikeout. So Swindell goes back to business and settles down, but his team is down by a run. And that brings up the uh, pitcher, uh, Choke, and they will pinch hit for Choke. Just because. They'll pinch hit with Randy, uh, Randy Velarde. And he gets a 111, and that is going to be a ground ball to second. Out four to three, but the Yankees take the lead as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. So let me go uh, tabulate everything here and get everything back to where it needs to be. Um... And we need a new pitcher. Uh, certainly it's not going to be Choate. He was pinch hit for, and he really would not be out there to protect a one-nothing lead, or a one-run lead anyway, to be honest with you. And you know who it is I'm looking for, and I am, and it is Mariano Rivera will come in. He was 4-6 and six with a two thirty four earned run average in 81 innings pitched. And the Diamondbacks will have to try to score at, <clears throat> at least one run against him with Reggie Sanders leading off. He gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. Sanders with a strikeout, and we'll write in <clears throat> Rivera. 1 batter, 1K. And that brings up Steve Finley, and Finley gets a 5-10. And 5-10 uh, is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes up the second guy he faces. Not really surprising, this is Mariano Rivera in the Hall of Fame. And uh, Matt Williams is up. And Matt Williams gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field, and that is it. That's how the game ends, my friends. It ends with the Yankees winning game one, three to two over the Diamondbacks. And so tune in tomorrow to see game two of this World Series, which the Yankees now lead one nothing.